Hey everyone, I'm back, and today we are going to be talking about the Lego Batman movie. Now, uh, this movie, I know it came out a while ago, but uh, to be honest, this, uh, I only got the chance to see it a couple days ago, and here we are. So, this movie is basically a spin-off to the Lego movie, and uh, I have not seen the Lego movie, so again, it'll be judged as a standalone film. So, here we go. Now, uh, the basic plot of the movie is uh, it focuses on Batman and uh, he's, <laughs> he's, uh, where do I start? Uh, he's basically fighting crime in Gotham and the, the opening scene of the movie is him fighting against the Joker. And I'll talk about the, more about him in a moment. And uh, what he does is... Uh, he is, uh, tells Joker that he's not his greatest uh, arch nemesis, and he feels so bad about that, just about to cry. And he uh, later has to become a family man because he adopted Robin at some point. And that's basically what the movie is. It has themes of friendship and family, but... Uh, this movie is uh, surprisingly uh, funny in uh, more ways than I thought because this is the first animated movie I reviewed on this channel and I really wasn't sure what to expect but I had a blast with this movie. While it does have uh, some issues that I'll get into later, but for now, we have uh, Batman, we have Robin, we have Batgirl in it, or Barbara Gordon, if you want to call her that. And we also have Alfred. Let's start with Batman's character, because in this movie, Batman raps, and it's very enjoyable to watch. I think he raps roughly about three times. I'm not sure if that's exact, but roughly around there. And we also have Robin, and I can't remember the voice actor, his name, but I'll put it right here. And... He, I don't think I can see anyone else uh, voicing Robin in this movie because he was likable. He's just very hilarious to watch and he might be uh, quite possibly the best character in the movie, if you ask me. Alfred, I, I don't think I need to explain anything. He's just Alfred, Batman Butler, Bruce Wayne in other words. The Joker in this movie, <laughs> he was really good. And he was great. I don't think anyone else could replace him in this movie if they were going to get a new voice actor for the Joker. I think uh, uh, this actor's name, put it right here again, and it'll also be in the description below. Uh, he was, uh, well, up into the third act, uh, he's uh, pretty uh, unpredictable and <laughs> without giving anything away. Uh, another thing that I really liked was the animation. It looks like it's a stop motion animation, but it's actually 3D animation, but they make it look like you're actually there. And that was very impressive. As far as issues that I have with the Lego Batman movie, I, I really only have uh, one, but it's pretty much the third act, and it goes into the territory the territory, sorry, of where anything that can happen will happen. And it made uh, the movie pretty fairly predictable. You know where it's going to go. It's going to go from here to here to here to here, and it does. And this is going to happen this way, and this is going to happen that way, and that's basically my only major issue with the movie. Other than that, though, there are, there are moments where it uh, references uh, previous movies of DC Comics. For instance, Batman uh, vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, the Dark Knight trilogy, uh, the original Batman movies, the Tim Burton and Joel Schumacher quadrilogy, and uh, the 1966 The Batman movie. <laughs> Starring Adam West. And if you're interested in that, then definitely check out this movie. I think it's definitely worth your time. And uh, for me, myself, I had a blast with this movie. And even if you are 
more interested in seeing John Wick Chapter 2, I think this movie is definitely worth checking out um, as, just as much, if not more, than John Wick Chapter 2. And overall, this movie has a, a great voice cast, fantastic animation, it's very funny, and I think anyone can enjoy it as much as I did. And I'm going to give the Lego Batman movie an A-. minus. So there are my thoughts on the Lego Batman movie. Have you guys seen this movie? If you have thoughts uh, that are different than mine, uh, let me know down below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to be a part of Foley Nation. And I'll see you when I get my next review up. And until then, have a great day.